amazing help with planning all of this as well. So can I get another round of applause for Laura? Please? Last week, Durham University announced its plans to increase accommodation prices by 10.3%. This means that a student could now expect to pay more than £9,000 per year for a standard catered room. This makes Durham more expensive than any other northern university that has so far released its prices for the next academic year, and more expensive even than other universities such as UCL, LSE or Royal Holloway. The decision has sparked outrage amongst the student body, some deeming it unacceptable. So a protest has been organised here at Palace Green by Durham Students' Union, Durham Tenants' Union, the Durham University Labour Club and the JCR President's Committee to try and get the university to change its mind. We're here at Palace Green on protest day to speak to the students themselves, find out why they're here and why they think the university has to reverse this decision. So first of all, very simply, why have you decided to come out here today and protest? The rent's too high. Simple as that. Students can't afford it. Students should be focused on learning. And they can't do that if working class students in particular are forced to get multiple jobs to afford a box sized room. Students are really struggling to afford to come to Durham anyway because there's so many other costs. Um, and the university needs to massively change their thinking in the way that they set the rent. They don't take into account that the maintenance zone has gone up by 2.8% and sort of using inflation as an excuse to raise the rent that's in a way that massively outstrips the maintenance loan is just not acceptable or sustainable. And what sort of impact do you think this will have on the student body? What, this particular protest? Or? No, no, the rise in accommodation. Uh, well, it's only going to hurt working class students. I mean, rich kids are going to be fine. I don't, I, don't, I don't think it's really going to bother them. They'll come out unscathed. Uh, it's awful. Like, they should be thinking about the student well-being, giving them the option and giving them the ability with money just to be able to go and have a social life and be able to actually enjoy their time at university because a lot of us come here for the uni experience not always just the university experience it's just it's i think it's just disgraceful the fact that they would be willing to just throw that wider student experience whenever they talk about it so much just out the window they might also say that they're investing more than ever in the Durham grant scheme and there's still support from within colleges for students who need it, but why is this not enough? There are plenty of students who fall between the cracks of that, so like, if it's based on how much your parents earn, how much you're able to get from your student loan, and there are plenty of students who fall through the cracks of that. Students who are in that, I know the Tory government has spoken recently about the squeeze point and a lot of people have spoken about that squeeze point in the cost of living. People who are in that area economically, they're just going to fall through. They don't get that help. And it's great that students who are at the lower end of the economic scale can get that help, but we need to think about every student as well. The issue is with the grant schemes, they are largely helpful to some Durham students, but they're not accessible at all to PGs. There's no grants available to PGs other than a small Durham grant that can be applied for that only gets given to um, a number of students. There's no means testing. Um, so it means that for PG students who often have larger fees to begin with and even less student finance to rely on, that they're feeling a compounded effect uh, of these cuts. So it's all well and good saying that they're invested in the grant, but that only applies to a percentage of students and not everyone. And do you think the current support that is available from colleges or from grant schemes, do you think that's sufficient? Uh, well, I, I think absolutely not. I think um, I'm kind of barely scraping by right now. Yeah. Um, I don't think the university will actually do anything about it, but you know, it doesn't hurt to demand. You know, the university itself says that they just have to respond to difficult economic times like anyone else. Do you think that's fair? Um, I don't think it's fair at all. Um, to argue about difficult, difficult economic times when they have millions in surplus funds, as well as the fact that the increases they are doing are completely out of line with what other universities are doing is unacceptable. Durham Uni now has higher rents than London, and as someone from the North East, that is an absolutely insane statistic to hear. And what do you hope, what impact do you hope this protest will have? I hope the university will cut the rent, I, um, to put it simply. Yeah, I hope the uni listen, but um, if they aren't, listening straight away, I hope that the students are going to start doing more stuff. So. Yeah, we'll continue standing here, we'll continue with the rallies until students' voices are heard. I think it'd be naive to think that the uni will see this protest and rent will be cut by tomorrow. Yeah. But I think it's, it's reassuring for some students to know that there are people trying to do something and I think the more protests like this happen, it, it helps get the word out, helps students know that there is something going on that they can get involved in it themselves. So it's a message directed as much to the students as the university? I'd almost say more so to the students than the university. Yeah. Yeah. This is the statement that the university put out last week. 
the university has approved a 10.3% increase in both accommodation and catering charges. As you will be aware, the university is experiencing rises in our operating costs in the current economic climate. We have tried to keep increases to our accommodation and catering charges as low as possible and to make sure that college-managed accommodation remains competitively priced in relation to private accommodation in Durham City. The university has an agreement with the Students' Union that accommodation and catering charges will increase by no more than inflation RPI each year. This year, mindful of the exceptionally high rates of inflation, we have worked hard to keep the increases in accommodation and catering charges to 3.1% below the latest RPI figure. The increases to our accommodation and catering charges will not cover the rises in our operating costs. For any students still unable to find a room for next academic year, there will be a contact email available from Monday the 13th of February to provide support and guidance in finding accommodation. The university is aware of the pressures of cost of living on students and is investing significantly in the Durham Grant Scheme, supporting students from low-income families. The scheme has been increased by 10% this year and will increase by up to 13.6% in the academic year 2023-2024. This means that from next academic year, home undergraduates who do not already have an undergraduate degree and who have a household income of less than £30,000 as assessed by Student Finance England or equivalent will receive a Durham grant of £2,500. Similar students who have a household income of between 30,001 and 47,200 will receive a Durham grant of between 2,495 pounds and 780 pounds. Overall, we are investing an additional 600,000 pounds in the Durham grant scheme this year, with an additional investment of 900,000 pounds next year. This will take our annual spend on the Durham grant scheme to circa 7.5 million pounds next year. The Durham grant is payable in addition to gov government funding and eligible students do not have to pay it back. In addition, the university offers to all students who need to bridge financial gaps support grants of up to £6,000 per annum on a planned or urgent basis. We are in discussion with student leaders about the best way to promote and target these grants. We also have instant access funds for students in urgent need of financial assistance. These funds allow students to obtain shopping and catering vouchers or cash. We will continue to invest in measures to support students. There are already a number of other initiative of, initiatives available, including free breakfast clubs and the Too Good To Go surplus food scheme. Full details can be found on the Cost of Living Hub. Students who are experiencing difficulties should contact their college in the first instance, where they will find support. To find out more about what the accommodation price increase actually means, and to put it in some context, check out the Palatinate article from January the 26th, link in the description. I'm Richard Griffiths, and this has been PAL TV.